why would I possibly downgrade to this? This is basically a Quest 3 with the hardware of a Quest 2, essentially. Is it going to be any good? I don't know, but it's 300 smackaroonies, and with tax, it's like 320. So it's not that bad, honestly. For 320, I mean, we're about to find out. That's why we're here. We're going to unbox this baby. All right, so here we have it, the Quest 3S. Honestly, the box... Pretty close to this, actually slightly bigger. This is a nice packaging. Uh, let's open her up on the side. That makes me think of the iPhone, you know, like super or something. All right, it just lost all its value. It's now worth 250 bucks. Oh, she. Oh, oh, that's cool. That's, oh, this is different. This is way different than before. It just literally plops out in front of you this is sick okay now i'm already hyped all right i'm familiar um honestly pretty sure it's identical so that's good to know these are really good controllers i was surprised by the tracking from them we have another charger cool i think this is for your glasses that's cool yeah it's for glasses confirmed Yo, this is like technically a little stand, actually. You get this. You know what? This is hot. Oh, this is smexy right here. This does remind me of the crappy Quest 2 lenses. But who cares? Honestly, who really cares? Yeah, I'm going to definitely need a head strap from Kiwi Design. I don't know if they fit this. They could potentially. Yo, hold up. Let's actually see real quick. So here we have the Quest 3. Let's move this out the way. Size difference, not that bad when you are comparing it with the facial interface, at least. Let me take this thing off, though. Oh, wow. Holy sh oh, no, I don't want to. Oh, I broke it. That's not too far off. All I know is that this right here is badass. This looks significantly cooler to me. What do you think is hotter, Quest 3 or Quest 3S? In my opinion, I like this. This is like Spider-Man to me. Yeah, I want to test something, though. I'm going to cook with it for now because I'm sorry, guys. Um, I cannot stand the OG Quest strap. It is a headache in three quarters. And, oh, no. Don't mind the dirt there, man. These things just honestly get dirty. I'm going to do a little cleanup before. Oh, yeah, we're online. But in your opinion already, guys, tell me, does it not look sexy? Like the technology packed in here is awesome. I'm not going to lie. But you get all of that in here. You do lose the depth sensor. It's replaced with these uh, infrared floodlights is what I heard. So, you know, it's whatever. Might be a quality degrade, but look at the price, guys. All right, so we can see it here. Beautiful. This thing looks sexy. I'm sorry. This looks way better. I'm, I, it's just my opinion. You know, you can hate all you want, but I'm a fan of the like Spider-Man looking eyes. Uh, it does look like the iPhone, actually. First impressions right here, it's booting up. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, mm. I see it, literally, because, uh, oh, wow. Mm. Pass-through is okay. Pass-through looks like pass-through. Okay, it wants me to connect my controllers. <laughs> I will be honest, I can clearly, I can really see the pixels. It's updating software, which I think we really need, because I, I'm seeing the warping from like V58 or something. Wow, I like that. I open the app and it shows the uh, the Quest 3S. So the app and everything paired honestly super seamlessly. If you already have a Meta account on your phone, it's gonna be seamless. If not, you're just gonna have to connect and it's gonna ask you a few more setup pro uh, questions like, you know, if you wanna share your info, you can obviously decline that. Okay, so comparing it to the Quest 3, yes, the field of view, definitely different. I'll do a more in-depth one uh, in the future. But I can tell immediately from the update, it, it looks like it comes with an older software from the beginning because once you update it, the warping literally is gone. Like, it's actually like pretty damn gone. Only warping you really get is like when you fully cover the frame like this, but you're not really gonna do that in VR. The pass-through should technically look identical because you're seeing through the cameras. I don't know if the cameras have a lesser quality, but we're about to just show you the pass through. By the way, I almost forgot to mention that if you guys are interested in getting $30 of Quest Cash towards any game on the MetaQuest platform, if you redeem using my link in the description below, it's an affiliate link, of course. If you use that, you can get your $30 of Quest Cash. And also right now, Meta is offering Batman Arkham Shadow and also three months of MetaQuest Plus. 
So that's incredible. I mean, I would highly get that deal now before it's gone. Um, I don't know exactly how long it lasts. Uh, so don't exactly quote me on that, but I know for sure if you use my link in the description down below, you will get $30 of Quest Cash. Okay, so we're in VR. Don't mind the wires. That's just full body tracking stuff. Whoa, let's not install everything. Let's, uh, let me give you guys a little demo of the Spatial app. Let's see how that feels on here because then if, uh, if that's incredible, this is literally like a little mini $300 Vision Pro. This is Vision OS Apple. It's so seamless. Oh, that looks so cool. You can sign into all your favorite apps, Gmail, Google Photos. You got your widgets. Oh, wow, this is very Apple looking. All right, let's set this up right by Spidey. See how that feels. Oh, you can change the face. Dude, that, that is so Apple. No, give me a normal looking watch. <gasps> no way. Don't, they have environments. Dude, hold up. Apple OS, Vision OS on the Quest 3S. A lot of S's. Hold up. Shut up. Oh, this is sick. Oh, this is, oh, oh, there's my note from earlier. Let's put that away. Wow. Oh my God, this is so cool. Can we just tap? I have the urge to just grab this. Pass through? Yeah, we were in pass through already. Oh, this is sick. Yeah, no, she feels snappy. This is the Quest 3 S. Honestly, pretty impressed. The pass-through does look like it's fairly the same, but it's just slightly more pixelated. But honestly, I think it's worth it. 320 bucks in total for this. I mean, if you don't have a VR headset, you need to get it. If you have a Quest 2, you should get it. If you have a Quest Pro, <laughs> get it. <laughs> I mean, uh, sometimes I feel like it's just too sluggish now. Uh, this new processor definitely uh, makes the whole experience better. And what I really want to do in another video is actually activating full body tracking that we get with here. You get upper body tracking with the front facing cameras and then AI estimated legs if you use virtual desktop. Hopefully that's a standalone feature, but I want to see if you can cook that with this because then you can use virtual desktop to unlock an enhanced full body experience. I say full because the legs are technically estimated, but you do get elbow tracking and a better chest tracking and like shoulder tracking that you get with the inbuilt sensor. Just from my first impressions, highly recommend. Obviously I will keep updating you guys and letting you know my opinion as it may change in the future. But as of for now, for the first, but as of for now with first impressions, honestly, I think it's pretty badass. This thing is cute.